Hey everybody, today I wanted to go um, show you a new piece of software that I bought and it's called KeyQ. I initially bought KeyQ so that I can have a reference for all my keyboard maestro shortcuts and I was thinking I was going to create a macro to, to show those uh, shortcuts, but then I found this KeyQ piece of software and it was recommended by uh, some of the people from the Keyboard Maestro forum. So let's go to KeyQ and then to the KeyQ website. You know what, let's just... Here we go, so that I can just launch um, Chrome to go to the website. And it's taking forever. You know what? Let's stop this and just do key Q. And here is the KQ website. And it does cost uh, some money. You can give it a free trial. They give it to you for about maybe a week or two. And it does cost 19.99 euros. So about, I think, $23 or $23.50. US dollars, I think. You can use a credit card or PayPal. Um, but here is what it does. In any application you have, um, well, as far as I know, I'm still uh, working with it to see all its capabilities. But I can put, press um, Control to get the system applications that are open right now. So here is Google Chrome and system applications. And then if I press uh, command, it gives me a list of the macros that I'm using currently. And it does divide them up into groups. So if I wanted to, uh, let's see, execute some macro. Let's see, where's the iTunes? Where's I can just remember uh, the shortcut, but I can also uh, launch it from here. So let's try to launch iTunes. And it even uh, shows you what the shortcut is, but I can click and in a moment, I think, I don't want, yeah, there it is. My computer is just slow. So, that's key for me. The one thing that I haven't figured out yet is the following. If I hit command and Option in K. See, it says key Q settings. I have don't show uh, uh, show subtitles not selected. So I assumed 
but I would it wouldn't show those, but I assumed it would show um, the major titles like Keyboard Maestro, which I am not seeing right now. So I'm not sure why this is happening. Let's see if we can ha use another application and try to get shortcuts for it. All right, so I'm gonna hit OK on this. I'm gonna start my Photoshop application. I could have just tried this with iTunes too. But at least with Photoshop, I know there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts to be able to efficiently use Photoshop. So let's see if we can add um, C keyboard shortcuts for Photoshop. And I'm going to open, let's say this one. Oh, it couldn't be found. Not sure why. Okay, let's create a new one then. And create. Now, let's see if it brings up any Photoshop applications or shortcuts rather. I'm gonna hit control to see what it brings up first. Yeah, here we go. Adobe Photoshop. Use your system but and then what I assume are um, Photoshop shortcuts. Yeah. So here's minimize um, is control M or control command M. F9 is actions, FH, F5 is brush settings, F6 is color, and see, I'm, I'm not too clear. These are the menus in Photoshop then I'm just because I get confused because this is Photoshop shortcuts or the menu that are within uh, the menus that are within Photoshop. Anyway, it apparently does work with um, Photoshop and it does give you the correct heading. What I can't understand is when I hit command why I can't get keyboard maestro to be there at the top all right well that's all I have for you guys today let me know what you guys thought in the comments subscribe and comment below and let me know if you guys have purchased keyq for your Mac systems all right guys I'll talk to you later in the next video.